Well, hello viewers. I recently purchased a new second-hand caravan. Um, and all really good. Everything works great on it, except the fridge. So I went searching on the internet to find out why the fridge doesn't work on 12 volts. Works great on mains. Works great on gas. When you're towing, it doesn't work. So I thought, I'll have a look on the internet see if I can figure it out. Well, everyone complains about these fridges not working and when they're towing. Uh, though they don't work, or they don't work very well at all. And there's a simple reason for that, so I'll just give you a look at it. So here's the fridge. We've got, in this instance, a Dometic RM2453, I think it is. Memory. Usual arrangement. We've got off. We've got gas. Sorry, we've got gas. Yeah, yeah, two offs. Gas, DC. And AC. As I said, all works great except for 12 volts. So, had a look at it. What's wrong with this? Well, here's the old usual switchboard that you find in a caravan. This is an ever-new caravan. The um, 1600. So, I pulled this out to have a bit of a look. And the whole problem is the usual caravan camper trailer scenario where the wiring's totally inadequate. And I don't know why these builders, caravan builders, can't get this right, because it's not rocket science. This is, um, this is Auto Electrics 101, but unfortunately most of the auto electricians don't seem to understand fundamental basics of auto electrical. Um, so what I find is this mess in here. There's no schematic for this, by the way. Um, I rang Avenue. They don't have a wiring diagram. Now you would think 90% of the vans are the same. There would be a basic wiring diagram, but there isn't. They run the wires around and they label them with these cryptic sort of masking tape labels, hopefully to know where everything goes. So in the fridge instance here, I discovered that um, there was in fact no 12 volts fed to the fridge circuit in this particular instance. This is the fridge wire here. And the wire itself's probably okay. It's about 3 mil if it didn't run all over the van on the way to the fridge. Uh, the trouble with these fridges uh, is that on 12 volts, they're drawing around 16 to 17 amps at DC. Now you need very heavy wire and quite a short run to um, be able to provide the necessary voltage to run the fridge. The result of this circuit, so I did fix this up, I fed um, 12 volts uh, into the fridge circuit up here, put it on, and it still didn't work uh, very poorly, uh, if, if at all. It took ages to get any sort of chill to it. Um, so the problem here is the size of this wiring. I don't know where that wire is that was going here. Oh, here it is. So this, this wire here was connected to the fridge fuse on here. And um, there's no 12 volts on this. I don't know where it goes because there's no wiring diagram, but it disappears down the wall. And the wall's got sealant in it. So you can't, um, and on here it's got some cryptic message like front or something. I don't know what that's supposed to say. And I don't know where, I don't know where that goes to. Um, no idea. But anyway, there's no 12 volts. But that's what was going to the fridge fuse. So this supposedly supplies 12 volts up here through the fuse holder and onto this orange wire. Which goes back down the wall. And appears at the fridge so I'll go outside and have a look at that okay so here we are at the back of the refrigerator here's our orange wire that comes from the fuse box we've got a blue wire which I've got no idea where that goes because it doesn't appear upstairs at the fuse box inside and we've got a black earth wire again these wires substantially are adequate size if it didn't go all over the place so once this 12 volts which has now been fed from the battery box down the back here up this wall up to the top into the fuse box back down the wall along here comes out here so we've already gone through about four meters of wire appears here then it goes up this red wire 
up to the top to the DC switch selector which it shows you on this diagram here the back of the fridge I don't know if that's coming up but anyway um, it goes up the top through the switch and comes back down again which is this wire over here and that comes in and then runs the 12 volt heater element this is the 12 volt heater element this is the 240 volt heater element as I say the 240 works fine you know, 12 volts less than impressive if you know functional at all in reality the way it works at the moment so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this I've fed some uh, some larger diameter wire through and I'm running directly from the battery which is in here is my battery compartment so this is going to go straight through comes out here this will then go fire a relay this is a 30 amp automotive relay it'll go through here and straight up into here I'll take this wire out of, um, out of here and I'll use the switch from the top of the fridge I'll feed that to activate the relay so now in effect all I'm going to do is have about a two meter run of cable through the fuse holder and straight up to the heater element with the result that I'm going to deliver maximum voltage at the hot at the highest current demand that this thing requires and I've tried this already with the power supply sitting here um, and the fridge works great so I know it works the problem here is the losses involved in the piss poor wiring that unfortunately the caravan manufacturers continue to build in these in these caravans shoddily done as is a lot of auto electrical in most campers that I've seen and caravans so we'll see how that goes and we'll give it a whirl okay I've just completed rewiring this now so I've now fed in new wiring from the battery which is probably a little bit hard to see but this this wire here I know it's a bit temporary at the moment um, and I've just got a blade fuse in here but this red and black wire of significantly larger di uh, diameter is now fed directly from the battery there's a 20 amp fuse in circuit it goes inside the wall of the caravan here and straight in to where the refrigerator is so this is knocked about four meters of three meters of undersized wiring in out of the taking it out of the picture uh, here I've fitted an automotive 30 amp relay um, had a wire that on top of there. Uh, previously this white wire was connected into this junction box here on these pins. So previously the red wire fed from the fuse box up in the top of the caravan up here came down the wall and came from the battery went up there into the fuse box back down the wall across along here and it came into um, this point here fed into this red wire. Now this red wire goes up to the top of the fridge which is up in the back of here and that's uh, where you select your gas or 12 volts and when you select 12 volts um, the switch enables this white wire here with provides 12 volts to come down that. I've now fed that into a relay to activate the relay what this relay is doing now is my wire that's now coming directly from the battery as I mentioned before from down here straight through comes into this relay and this is the 12 volts going to the heater element in the refrigerator so the 12 volts directly from the battery is now fed um, into the relay and through to here so as you select 12 volts this relay is enabled and turned on and off. This is a remote control switch if you like. So I've got no voltage drop and no additional loss on the way to the fridge heater element. So it's doing all the work. So that's a 30 amp, it's used for spotlights and other high current devices in cars. It's a 12 volt automotive relay. And all I've, all I've done is I've picked 12 volts up. It's only a signal wire and it needs to be a very low power device. 
now so I've got a low um, current wire feeding up here that goes to the switch switch comes back down and enables the relay so this is not doing anything uh, much at all now it's only carrying milliamps of current the high current part of the circuit drawing around 17 or 18 amps is now on these two wires and it's directly from the battery so I've got about two and a half meters of wire now going directly to the heater element I turned the fridge on and within minutes it was cold never done that before so we'll just see it's going now it's only been on for about five minutes maybe, maybe a little bit more and yep it's cold so she's working working great I think this fits the gas part so but yes that's chilling down nicely so um we'll see how it goes but I'm uh, optimistic that well I tried it yesterday with the power supply and I know it works so none of the wiring now goes through here I've taken all of that this is now just running lights no high current equipment is going through here so I'll put all this back um, I've got to fit different metering, what have you. Down here, I've got my battery charger, charging the battery. And this is this wire that's now going directly to the fridge. Straight through and up, the refrigerator's in here. So, nice short run, cap capable of carrying high current without much, if any, voltage drop. We'll just go back outside and have a look at what the voltage is now going to the refrigerator. Meter. Um, let's just have a quick look at that. I'm going to fix this up a bit better. But right at the moment, it's doing what I need. So, okay. So as you can see, we're getting 13 volts now, fed to the fridge heater element instead of about 11 which is all we were getting before. Um, so, far superior performance. This is critical that the voltage and current are maintained to this heater element or the fridge just simply won't work. And uh, I'm quite sure now that that's fixed the issues with this and um, I'll have uh, a fridge that works perfectly well uh, when I'm mobile. So the only other thing I have to do now is fit a DC to DC converter at the battery. So the battery is maintained when I'm driving at 14 volts and that will make sure that this is maintained. And it's quite interesting when you check this, the heat in these wires, it's no wonder they don't work on most caravans because any additional loss through inadequate wiring and poor fuses etc and connections are going to significantly degrade the performance of the fridge. It, you can't afford to have it drop one or two volts because the heater simply won't work and it'll be very inefficient and the fridge won't maintain its cold. But I'll tell you what, that element is is really, ow, it's really hot now. So um, I've, so this is the 241 at the top here, which isn't doing anything. And this is the 12 volts, which is working like a charm. So, Yes, I'm optimistic that this uh, will fix all my refrigerator issues in the caravan. Anyway, that's it. That's how you fix caravan 12 volt fridges. But you can only use them when they're working. So the other thing that's um, good to do is to have a motion uh, switch, which will disconnect the 12 volts to the fridge when you when you stop moving, because this is a very high current circuit. It, it will be using around about 18 amps at 12 volts and that'll kill your battery out of your car in in um, pretty much minutes well a couple of hours you won't be able to start your car I'd suggest in a lot of case in a lot of the cases um, maybe less maybe an hour if you're in a standard smaller car so yeah um, need to be very careful of the 12 volt operation of your fridge when you're moving Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.